I'm, I'm sitting here in this high-rise building overlooking downtown Chicago and seeing a billboard of myself and people recognizing me and taking Michael Jordan's locker. Wow, this is, my dream is really happening. It's actually really happening, I'm living it out. Apparently wasn't enough. I still wanted to show everybody that, hey, I'm the man at 21 years old. I think the path I was going down was a reckless one. It was one where I was rebellious. I wanted to prove, who cares about what I wanted to prove to the world, I wanted to prove to myself that I was actually going to live this lifestyle that I've been dreaming of living all my life. You know, the glitz and the glamour and the, the planes and, you know, meeting different women and, you know, making money doing a sport I loved. I took it for granted. Those kind of arrogant thoughts and actions led me to have a motorcycle. You know, you go from going 20 miles an hour to all of a sudden going 65, 70 miles per hour. By the time you that stuff happens, you look up and you're headed towards your reality. You're, you're headed towards your fate. And that happened to be a metal utility pole that I crashed into going 75 miles an hour. And uh, my life has forever changed since that day. I've had countless surgeries, over 10 a scar running from my ankle all the way up to my thigh, four slits on the inside of my leg due to a fasciotomy, and I suffered severe nerve damage uh, in my pelvis, which you know forced me to be dysfunctional in that area for a long time. I have a metal pin in my sacrum in my back, and uh, but none of those injuries compare to my mental injury, uh, which was having to live with my accident every single day, and having people remind me of the biggest mistake of my life. And that mistake led me to becoming addicted to Oxycontin uh, for years after I didn't need it. And it was one of the longest journeys in my life to learn how to walk again, to learn how to run again, all while doing it with the public being around to, to constantly remind you of your failure. This life is a matter of perspective. And a lot of people say, oh, you got dealt a bad hand. And I used to think for a long time, oh, I got dealt a really bad hand, even though I did it to myself. But then you quickly realize, after you know thinking about it for a while, oh, you know what, okay, I, I, I may have had a bad hand, but the world doesn't know I have a bad hand. How can I play this hand to the best of my ability? And how can I surround myself with people that help me reinvent myself?